as Madden 20 is only two months away from release, I thought, why not make a video on five things that we will definitely not see in Madden 20. Before we get started with the list, let me know what you guys are most excited for in Madden 20, what you're worried about, and of course, if you like the video, a like would be appreciated. Let's go ahead and dive into the list. Coming in at number one, the number one thing that will definitely not be in Madden 20 is solo challenges. Now, I know this is going to be something that's it, when it originally was announced, there was a lot of L's in the chat, not not a whole lot of happiness going on uh, when they said that solos would not be in Madden 20, but there's a little, it, it, solos still kind of exist, just in a different name. They're going to be called ultimate challenges instead of solo challenges, and basically the name shift is simply because you can do them with a friend, so they can't really be solo challenges if you can do them with someone else. <laughs> Doesn't really make sense with the name, so they, they changed the name to ultimate challenges, but it's not just simply a name change. It's actually a whole over overhaul of how solos, or now ultimate challenges, will be in the game. You will no longer do just a follow a start from one you go do solo two do solo three do solo four you can bounce around you can do solos in any ultimate challenges i'm going to say that a lot you can do these challenges in any order you want there's a star system one two or three stars and if you do the bonus goals you can actually get two more stars so you can get up to five total if you do it on the hardest difficulty so let's just say there's a rookie there's a pro and there's an all-star difficulty if you do it on all-star difficulty Again, I'm just making up those names. I'm not sure what they're going to call the difficulties. And then you do all the bonus goals. You can get five stars from doing that solo or ultimate challenge. There we go. You can do that, and you can do that with a friend as well, uh, which is definitely a completely shift on how it works now. Those bonus stars you can get, you can try again if you don't get them as well. So like in Madden 19 or in previous years, those bonus goals, that's a one-time chance. If you finish the solo, you're done. You can't go back and get them. Here in Madden 20, you can continue to do it over and over again. And I'm curious what you guys think about solos or now ultimate challenge, what you guys feel about this. I'm a little bit worried because Madden 19 was probably the most friendly towards no money spent in a sense with the solo rewards, just overall building a team with house rules. And it was just, it was, you could, if you just played the game, you could build a God squad. And that's one of the issues. I think everybody has like all the same players, same team. But with Madden 20, of, of course, are they going to go back a little bit? Maybe they rewarded people too much, they feel, so the rewards might be a little bit worse. Or are they going to continue that, rewarding players pretty heftily for doing these, these challenges? So it'll be interesting to see uh, what they do with that. But we do know for certain that solos are a thing of the past, and now they are ultimate challenges, and they will look very different. Coming in at number two, the second thing that will definitely not be in Madden 20 is Red Kims. Now, before we go too crazy and be excited about this, we have to be a little bit careful and see that this is this is something that's gone away. It's definitely gone. Jake Stein, creative director, I think that's his title over uh, for the Madden game, uh, EA. I He definitely said they're gone, but he did say also that you can find these. A lot of those Red Kims can be found with these X-Factor superstar abilities. Uh, that we'll see in Madden 20. So it's not like they're completely gone. Playmaker is one of the most frustrating red kims, I think. A lot of people will be like, it's just you have not you have no read, you're boxed, and then you just playmaker. It doesn't matter if I have it manned up or whatever, they burn them. Uh, you can easily complete a big pass there if they have time. Uh, which is definitely frustrating, of course, uh, giving up a play to a playmaker when everything else is covered, and even the playmaker's covered. That's I I Okay, I, it's not about Playmaker. I need to move on. But the Red Kims are gone. Uh, but we will see something like this still in the game. In these X-Factors and these abilities, we're going to still see it in the game. So let's be a, a, probably have to be a little bit reserved on our excitement. But still could be good. It looks like we have limits on how many we can have on each side of the ball. You can't just simply put all these overpowered things on the players, I think. Uh, from what we've seen. So that's good. Uh, hopefully that makes for a good experience. Red Kim's being gone overall, I think is good. Uh, they're trying to make superstars feel more like that, feel more like that. So they're going to have those abilities to get, you know, those specific Kim's, but you're going to be limited uh, by what you can do with those X factors and stuff. So that could be good. Hopefully uh, we'll see EA really, really not go too overboard with them because I, I do think the Red Kim's are a little ridiculous in Madden 19 or in previous Madden. So Hopefully uh, that will be the case, and and we'll get a, a good 
a good balance uh, between superstars feeling like that but not being overpowered where they just completely control the game and there's not much you can do so we'll wait and see but red cams are officially gone at number three the third thing that would definitely not be in madden 20 well i i have playbooks written but i i need to be a little bit uh careful here playbooks will be there will be playbooks in madden 20 i i can be pretty sure about that but playbooks as we know it are going to be completely shifted uh they're going to be changed and they or at least in a sense they said in the blog that there will be unique playbooks and and new schemes and stuff that you can design design uh which could be kind of interesting of course hopefully they're able to do something cool with this uh, that we haven't seen before but is not again overpowered that's always the worry uh, the one thing that I've been telling a lot of people is that I do not believe that the Patriots playbook will be untouched I think they'll take out a lot of the plays in the bunch they're gonna mess with it uh, which we'll see if they do that you know the pat sale and those sorts of plays because even though they may be able to be stopped there's ways to do it a lot of the community do not like that and just get people just spamming it even if you completely box it people will still spam it and it doesn't make for a good game that everybody's running the same plays uh, so I figured EA would even though it's not the best solution just take those plays out then there will just be other plays that people run it's not the best solution like I said but I figure they would but this kind of is interesting uh, unique playbooks the, the little line we haven't seen exactly what that means uh, but if we're able to design some of our own plays and be able to bring those into Mutt, that could be pretty interesting. Again, we don't know if that will be available in Mutt. I'm a Mutt player, so I'm talking more on Mutt side. What will be available? But there will definitely will be an overhaul of, in a sense, playbooks in a, that they'll be able to change. If a play is, you know, they see a play used too much, they can simply take that play out. Don't even have to update the game. They did that update in Madden 19. Uh, so they, they're able to do that if they choose to. And this this just a little line that says unique playbooks has me a little excited because the game does feel kind of stale when everybody's running either Bucks Bunch or Patriots Bunch or Trips Tight End. Like that's all you see. So I, I'm definitely excited to see exactly uh, what this unique playbook and change in playbooks is going to look like. The number four thing that will definitely not be in Madden 20, which is, I don't need to spend too much time on this one, but is auto strafe. Now, this is probably one of the most frustrating things that is is in all of Madden. I, I it's, it's hard to explain unless you played with it on and, and play with it off. It is it's absolutely terrible. You will play a game and your settings get reset, of course, uh, and that's very frustrating. And so EA even said, like, we're just going to take it out of the game. Uh, it's basically, I mean, I don't see any reason why you would want it on. You feel slower. It's just the way, it's just not good. Uh, it's, it's a terrible, terrible mechanic. So they took it out, and thankfully that means that you won't automatically get it clicked on. Even if they can't fix the settings, if you ever play online, you know that the settings get reset all the time. Sometimes game to game, they get reset. It's, it's so frustrating. So knowing that auto strafe doesn't even exist, that's a huge, huge, huge positive and I wonder if they took it out because they couldn't figure out how to fix the settings issue. I hope that's not the case because then other settings might get changed as well. But at least we know that auto strafe uh, won't be turned on. I had a game where auto strafe was, I am, it was on. I know it was on. I went back to my settings and it said it was off. I was so sure it was on. I'm like, look at this. It's strafing. I'm not strafing. Uh, so it's going to be nice that, that that guy is gone. Uh, happy that it's gone. Hopefully they fix the settings issue where it doesn't keep switching. But even if they don't, at least we know auto strafe won't be automatically turned on because that's very frustrating. And the fifth thing that will definitely not be in Madden 20, and this is, I, I could go with, you know, something with real player motion. I could go with, there's a lot of things I could go with. A long shot here would make sense. We know that's not going to be there, but I, I'm more of a mutt guy. So I'm going to look at house rules. Now, just, I'm going to tell you, house rules will exist in Madden 20, but it will not be in Madden 20 right when you buy it right when you get the copy it will not be in Madden 20 so if you I mean I could definitely I like I could have said a long shot here but I know nobody really cares about that mostly um mostly nobody cares about that so house rules now EA said that it will not be available at launch that's it's a little bit it's a little bit frustrating because it's so popular you would think that would be something that you would want in your game day one but they said there's gonna be so much to do that it's it's fine and that's a little frustrating as a game you like I want you know like I want to decide what I want to do like I you don't tell me what I want to do I, I I've told you what I like I love house rules so why are they not in the game so that's a little frustrating that it's not in day one I hope it's not more than like a month down the road that they put it in 
but they said it will be close to launch, which I feel like gives them a few months, uh, which is a little bit a little bit troublesome. So hopefully we see it early. Uh, hopefully it's only a few weeks. Hopefully it's a week that they put it in. But we know for sure that house rules will not be available at launch, which is definitely something that we would love to see. And as as a Madden guy, a Mutt guy, I, I'm a little frustrated. So let's make sure we keep EA accountable to that. They get it in the game. But uh, I, it will be there. It just won't be at launch and hopefully not too much longer after that. So there's my list. That's my five things that would definitely not be in Madden. Uh, Madden 20 with house rules kind of eh, uh, kind of kind of cheated there but I just want to get that information out there in case people were interested in that uh, long shot also there I got six things if you don't want to count that so <laughs> uh, but there's the list uh, thank you guys so much for watching let me know uh, what you are most excited to see in Madden 20 and what you're definitely excited not to see since that's the video what are you most happy about that is not in Madden 20 I out of my whole list I know it's gonna sound crazy I, even with the red kims Auto strafe turning off, that might be my favorite thing that, it, well, it not even existing. Uh, actually, Playbooks is probably the most exciting. I hope they do that well. I hope they do, uh, but we'll see. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. That's all I got. Chewbacca Lemma, out.